you've been awarded the best thesis at Lucem in 2022, and the award includes honor, praise, and a prize of 25,000 crowns. Uh, congratulations, and could I have your comment on winning the prize, Nikolai? Of course. Well, thanks. I would first like to thank the committee for taking the time to read my work and to consider the dissertation worthy of this prize. I feel honored and proud of this achievement, given the large amount of effort and time that I spent on my PhD thesis. I, of course, also feel great to see that the work has paid off and is recognized and appreciated. I'm also very grateful to my supervisor, Jutta Bolt, as well as my co-supervisor, Jean Seyer, for supporting me and en encouraging me throughout this long journey of writing my thesis. So this prize is also a testament to their patience, their guidance and willingness to help. Great. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your thesis is about. Well, my thesis investigates the interdependencies, the dynamics and long-term implications of Christian missionary societies in Cameroon from their initial arrival during the 19th century until today. Therefore, I created multiple novel and geocoded databases on the spatial expansion and extent of missionary education and healthcare with so far unexplored records that I collected while I was visiting mission archives in the US and multiple European countries such as Switzerland, France, the United Kingdom or Germany. Thus, I move beyond previous research that mostly relied on inaccurate and biased historical atlases. And in doing so, I create valuable data sources to be used for future research on the diffusion and implications of healthcare and education during colonial times. These new data sources also allow me to improve our understanding of the interdependencies of colonial era mission work with the indigenous population. Could you outline a few of your most important findings for us, please? Of course. First, I find that the expansion of formal schooling was influenced by several geographical and spatial historical features, as well as characteristics of the local indigenous societies that were present in Cameroon at the time. In doing so, I investigate and address the endogeneity bias that is inherent in much of the related literature. Then I also identify a persistent and positive impact of colonial era mission education and healthcare on Cameroonian schooling achievement, their uh, educational uh, gender equality and access to healthcare today. And finally, my thesis highlights the important role that um, Africans played in the functioning of missionary work in Cameroon. Missions relied on the local tolerance of indigenous chiefs and a high share of African personnel to facilitate a cost-efficient expansion of their work. Africans' willingness to accept Christianity and their demand for missionary services ultimately determined the success of missions in Cameroon. What did, what did pursuing a, a PhD mean to you? And uh, after all this work, did, did it live up to the expectations you had? <laughs> Well, for me, pursuing a PhD did not only just mean working hard and eventually earning a doctoral degree. Rather, it did indeed involve a process of uh, constantly overcoming smaller or larger struggles. But at the same time, it also meant growing and developing as a person and as a researcher and often discussing interesting ideas with many brilliant and warm hearted colleagues in the department. Therefore, while the years as a PhD students included, of course, many moments of frustration in times when the dissertation absorbed much of my energy. I had just as many joyful moments with colleagues that eventually became friends. And now, what is next for Nikolai Bauer? <laughs> well, after a long vacation following the defense of my dissertation in the fall of 2022, I was fortunate enough to find an interesting and now also very challenging job in my home city of Hamburg in Germany. Since January, I started working there at the U Hamburg University of Technology as an advisor to the university management. Thus, while I'm not actively doing research myself at the moment, I still work in a university setting and I continue to be able to support research and teaching in my new role. Thank you very much for taking your time to, to, to speak to us. And again, congratulations on the prize, Nikolai. Thank you very much.